Obaseki task stakeholders on anti-open grazing law. Greetings to you all. Hope you are doing great in our respective locations. To all my amazing subscribers, returning subscribers and yet to be subscribers, I want you to know this. A beautiful heart can bring things into your life that all the money in the world could not obtain. I pray we all experience a beautiful Tuesday. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseke yesterday met relevant stakeholders to review strategies at improving security and shaking header pharma crisis in the state. Speaking at a town hall meeting on the state's proposed anti-open grazing law, it said the delay in signing the bill into law was to ensure an implementable law that would end rising insecurity and economic challenges in the state. Stakeholders at the event were drawn from different walks of life, including traditional rulers, youth groups, religious bodies and civil society organizations, among others. There are people doing their legitimate businesses of adding cattle and producing meat, and there are criminals who want to destabilize our country and state. Representative of the Christian Association of Nigerian Khan, Edo State Chapter, Reverend Oriakehi David, who said cattle rearing is a private business and anybody interested in the business should acquire land for such business, suggested ranching as an alternative to open grazing. Chairman Cattle Dealers Association in Edo State, Alaji Sahid Ahmed, said about 45% of cars consumed in Benin City and most of the south comes from the north. He appealed to the governor to treat everybody equally, irrespective of religious beliefs, saying that God has blessed Edo and that his people have been living in the state without any troubles. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please click on the notification button down below. I see you. Even as you do so, may the blessings of God Almighty never cease to overflow in your lives as you all support my channel. Amen. From what the Hedo State Governor has come out to say, is not that he's all out on the open against the open grazing bill. From all indications, he's trying to create a medium where both the Edo people and the, these Edos can still live in peace without disintegration. But he should also consider the atrocities the said people has caused the Edo people. He should try to hasten his proposed plan so that peace can return fully to Edo State. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please click on the notification button for more authentic news. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.